Hey everybody, it's Robbie 0626195 starting something new! Hold on, give me a second, I'm gonna disconnect the video feed here. As to let you guys know not what my next walkthrough is, but you can hear it. As you can just hear, it was a virtual console game. But what virtual console game is it? I reinstalled the thing. Yes, I need the classic controller, but as you all know, I am not using the classic controller. I'm using my WaveBird. It's the Nintendo 64, and it's... Yes, it is the first 3D Zelda game. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yes, this is uh, easily one of my favorite most favorite uh, Zelda games in the uh, 3D family. See, so I got two files here already, so I'm going to create a new one. And as usual, I'm just going to call myself Link because I like sticking with the standards. So, as in when I do Mother 3 and Earthbound, I will use the don't care names. Yes, I want Link. Yes. Let's get started. In the vast deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served the guardian as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. Yes, some people call it the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or own guardian fairy. Yep. But there is... Hey, Link has his eyes open. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Yeah, they didn't design Link to have his eyes closed here, so they're open. He's sleeping with his eyes open like Dr. Seuss that the Dr. Seuss book. Yeah, since this is not a GameCube game, I don't use the Rumble controller, so I get to use my Wavebird, where I can go wherever I want with it. Ooh, we have some spoilerish cutscenes that we have to watch. It seems some... Uh, Late girl on a horse with an older girl and whoa, some weird green dude, and looks like whoa. That's not what Link sounds like at all. He goes ha ha whenever he rolls. <laughs> Navi, where art thou? Come hither. I said I didn't say Navi twice. <laughs> and it's a Deku Tree's mustache. Ah, oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long the Kokiri Forest, the source of, of life, has stood as a barrier uh, deterring outsiders and maintaining order to the word world. But before this tr tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now, find our young friend, and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, may the world depend on thee. Yes, and we get to watch Navi flying around. Yeah, I don't... I don't think Navi is as annoying as some people may think. <laughs> Flying through the legs, it's so funny. But she can get annoying at times, but she's kind of... She's, she's cool. She's uh, way more annoying than uh, Tattle, or Tattle, I think is her name in uh, Majora's Mask. And I can't wait to do that game either. And she sees Link's house, but... Oh! She hits the fence. Well, you didn't have to fly through it. You could have gone around, but no, you had to be all cool like. And she enters the house. And we have the house music as in standard Zelda games. And he still has his eyes open and just blinked. Hello. Hello, Link, wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up. Hey, come on. Can't Hyrule... Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Hey, I'm not lazy, I'm just tired. Hey, seriously, I, I slept till 9 o'clock this morning. I usually am real, a really morning person, but I was like really, really tired. You're finally woke up. I'm Navi, the fairy. The great Deku Tree has asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. 
Yeah, since this is a uh, platformer and not like an RPG, and I like how you can uh, switch between these two views, I will be talking more because it's more action based. And we enter Kokiri Forest. This place is really nice. I don't get why I said it's so weird though. It's like Kokiri. It's Kokiri. Gosh. And here's our friend Saria. Yahoo! Hi, Link! And we're really going to flip off. And let's go ahead and speak. Wow, a fairy? Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, that's good, great news. I'm so happy. Now it's a GR2 Kokiri. Is that right? The great Deku Tree is summoned to you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the great Deku Tree. We will. But first, you know that guy that Navi threw through his legs? He won't let us through. Heh. <laughs> So we're going to- where am I going? Oh yeah. So we're going to have to get some things before we leave. Such as a sword and a shield. The sword is this way. And here's the controls. You got the, the little things that look like the C stick, but instead of using the C stick, you can use Y, X, Y, Z, and Y, X, and Z, but there is no one for up, so you have to use up to talk to Navi whenever you need to. Because because you know the game controller only has three buttons, not four. Unlike the N64, so we can talk that. The great Deku Tree is summoned to you. Please come with me. No, I need to uh, make my doll happy. And watch out, there's a boulder somewhere around here. There's a blue rupee there. And uh, I'm glad it doesn't like cut in every so every often whenever you save and come back. Like in Twilight Princess, like, you got a blue rupee 5, or you got a yellow rupee 10. At least it doesn't do it for green rupees. Anyway, you got the sword! You got the Kikiri sword and the equipment. So you can select with a cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kikiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Yes. So let's go ahead and go to our equipment screen. And let's you know it'd be over here. And equip the sword. It looks like a little butter knife compared to the other swords in this game. And you can use it to cut stuff, such as bushes and signs. <laughs> Sign, cosine, and tangent. That's what we learn in geometry class. And there's another blue rupee, and there's nothing in that bush. That rock will do a whole half a heart of damage. That's not that much, so. It's okay if you get hit by it. Don't, no need to worry, as Don would say. Let's see. I bet you, I, I wonder how many Kokiri actually uh, went through there and like took, I don't want to target the rocks, gosh. Yes, you need to collect some rupees. You need to get up to 40 rupees, because that's how you get the shield. You actually have to buy the shield. And this game is really weird, because it thrusts you right into a dungeon when you start this game, like after you collect all this stuff. Let's see, there's a house over here you might want to go to. I find it kind of funny how the fairies of the people load before they actually people do. And here there should be a blue rupee. This is blue rupee. That's five rupees! Did you know that? Yeah, there's green rupee. I forget which one, one of the games that says, you got a green rupee. This is only worth one, so you better collect a lot of them. See, we're already up to 30, and we're only at 8 minutes and 42 seconds on the clock, and that's kind of inaccurate because I was messing around in the beginning. You jump across here, you can go ahead and get yourself 5 rupees, and wow, I kind of missed. This is girl here, she's like, hi Link, look this way, look over here with Z and talk to me with A. Actually, no, on the game controller, it's L, and you speak. Yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. It's so great that you finally have a fairy partner. I'll teach you how to talk to people using your fairy. Yes, yes, I know what it means. And you can also use L whenever you want to change the camera screen, but I can't do it in here. See, look, I'll do it so I can go roop like that. And I need five more rupees so I can have 40. So now I can afford the shield. So let's go ahead and go buy it. And that'll be it for this part today. We have started our new walkthrough, and it's so awesome. Let's go ahead and speak. Welcome! Wow, that guy's so short he can't even look at the thing. That's us But buy the Deku Shield, yes! You got the shield! You got a Deku Shield! It has a 9 on it, because that's the Deku Emblem. That's the De Deku Symbol. You press R to uh, use it, and you can use Z while defending. No, I did not anything, need anything else, because you wiped my wallet out. 
So let's go ahead and go to our equipment screen and equip the shield. So now you can go ahead and do it like this. And when you hold Z, you can go. Yay! I love controlling Link. Yeah, Link controls really easy in this game. Okay, in the next part, we will talk to whatever. What's his name here? The face and visit the Deku Tree. See you guys later.